there have been a few complaints uh, with the transitions of this video so we've taken them down and we're going to repost it um, so the transitions are just a lot quieter hi i'm mick sandler and it's 10 product photography tips Tip number one, get yourself a set of lights. With a set of lights, you get a constant um, setup. You can recreate this every time. And if you're looking to put images on eBay or a website, then you can come back time and time again and get the same result. Tip number two, get a light cube. This is a 50 centimeter cube. As you can see, it has a front panel that takes off with Velcro. Um, we've raised it up on a box so the lights uh, are in the right position. But what a cube does is reduce your reflections and it also softens the shadows. Um, we do also do an 80 centimetre and that is obviously quite a bit bigger. Tip number three. Sit your camera on a tripod because if you sit your camera on a tripod it will be firm. It means you won't get any camera shake. And you can set the aperture to give you the biggest depth of field that you want. And you can also um, set the ISO low, which means the camera will make up its own mind as to the exposure. And that can be up to a few seconds. Tip number four, use exposure compensation. Because if you're letting the camera decide what the exposure is, then if it sees a big expanse of white or a big expanse of black, it's trying to get that to a gray. So if you're photographing something uh, and you want a white background, then you need to alter the exposure conversation. You need to make, make the image lighter. And you can see that on you, you'll be able to see that on your screen. Right, we're shooting um, this at F16 to give maximum depth of field. And we've set a two second delay here to allow the camera to settle down before the mirror goes up. So we've taken one picture. We're now going to alter the exposure conversation by a third. Um, so we're going to up the conversation by a third. Take the same shot. And we're going to up it a third again. Yeah, so that's two thirds of a stop. So you can see the difference these three make and all three uh, will the third one is probably a bit overexposed but we can uh, more or less get rid of the background if we really want to get rid of the background then we take it into some sort of editing software photoshop lightroom um, and there's some photoshop elements and there are also some free ones that we'll do exactly the same thing tip number five don't use a wide angle lens because a wide angle lens is going to give you this area and it will also distort your product so you need to use a, a, a lens that is has a narrower view um, on a crop sensor it's something like uh, 50 uh, millimeter um, on a full frame sensor it's slightly more but be aware that you keep your angle of view quite tight tip number six frame your subject very carefully and you need to make sure that uh, you put your subject in the frame and don't leave too much uh, either side of it tip number seven shoot your item in more than one position so you take your initial shot and then change the uh, viewing angle so you've got more than one um, that will you know you can then choose what one looks pleasing tip number eight you want to use a small aperture by using a small aperture it gives you the greatest depth of field which is what you need for if you're putting items on a website or on ebay um, you may want a short depth of field in which case you use um, use it wide open 
but um, F8, F11, F16 all give you the maximum depth of field. Tip number nine, shooting raw. Now you should always shoot in raw if you can, because there's so much you can do afterwards. And I'm going to take a couple of these images and we're going to look at them in Lightroom and use raw to change the look of them to improve them. Tip number 10, use photo editing software. If you want a white background, then you need to take this out in post-production. You can take it out by shooting it but it becomes very complicated um, and a photographer's thing to set up and you'll need more than two lights so go in into the photo editing software and take out the background it's much easier than you think well that's 10 tips for today and we're going to look at them in Lightroom right we've got our three images now we're taking them into Lightroom and if you want to take the background completely away you're probably best to go into another editing program but we're going to show you a few bits in uh, Lightroom how to improve uh, these images we're in Lightroom 5 and we just go to the review mode and you can see that uh, the three pictures there which are each a third of a stop away the first one is uh, is not bad, but we are losing some of this highlight. And shot two is a bit better because we've got the highlight, but we've still got the background. So for this purpose, we're going to use uh, number two. And we're going to go into the develop module. And so this is our image we've chosen you can see straight away that it's not straight it's not level and uh, in Lightroom 5 there's a great uh, new addition and if we go to lens corrections in here you can see uh, we've got upright and we've got different tabs level vertical full and we've got auto now we're going to click auto and try and alter those Converging verticals and there it's done it. You can do this in other Lightroom software, but you would have to do it manually. So we're just going to go up to crop and crop to what we uh, what we want our image to be. Um, there's our image. We're going to do a few basic things. You can see the background is has still got uh, toned in it. So we're going to go to the basic channel. We're going to open up. The shadows a bit by to about 20 and then we're gonna bring the blacks back a little bit and uh, so there we are we can alter the highlights on the whites I think in this case I'm gonna take the whites if you see the histogram up here um, if we move the white slide to the right you can see uh, it moving across and if we hold down the alt key you will see um, any white bit showing and the top of the cap so we just pull that back we're on about 40 there so that's nice and bright that's quite uh, looking quite good last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of clarity just to sharpen things up a little bit and uh, there is our image so I hope you like this um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, any comments we'll try to answer.